the charges against the governor are submitted by the counter assembly shall be read. The governor will be given an opportunity to take a plea on the charges. This will be followed by an opening statement by the county assembly and thereafter by the governor. After the conclusion of the opening statements, the presentation of the case of the county assembly shall commence. After the presentation of the case by the county assembly, honorable senators will be given an opportunity to ask questions or seek clarification for the county assembly. This should take us up to the end of today's sitting. At the sitting schedule for tomorrow, Tuesday the 20th of August 2024, the governor will have an opportunity to present her case before the Senate. Honorable senators will also, have, will also be given an opportunity to ask questions or seek clarification from the governor, following which the closing statements by the parties will be made for a period not exceeding one hour each. The Senate shall then proceed to debate prior to voting on each of the charges. At this stage, a supplementary order paper will be issued to facilitate this debate. In accordance with Section 33.7 of the County Governments Act 2012, and standing order 86 of the Senate Standing Orders, the voting shall be by county delegations. The Governor shall see to hold office if a majority of all county delegations of the Senate vote to uphold any impeachment charge. If, however, the vote in the Senate fails to result in the removal of the county uh, governor pursuant to standing order 87, the Speaker of the Senate shall notify the Speaker of the Meru County Assembly accordingly.